Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about finding whether a particular number is prime number or not in SAS. Now let us quickly discuss what is meant by prime number and what is meant by composite number. Most of this what you see in here I have pasted from Wikipedia. Wikipedia says a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that is not a product of two smaller natural numbers. So in a way a prime number is a positive whole number greater than 1 and it is only divisible by 1 or itself without a remainder which means it is not product of two small numbers. Again, a natural number greater than 1 that is not a prime number is called a composite number. Basically composite number means it will be divisible by two small numbers. Now I do not want to go into the context of whether one is a prime number or composite number and our code will also not will be checking for one our code will also will not be checking for number one so let's get into our topic to understand this topic we need to know two functions the first one is mod function mod function what it does is it returns the remainder from the division of first argument by the second argument let us look and understand with an example below. Here I have a data set in which I am creating two variables and I am also using mod function. Here I am having two arguments for mod function 4 comma 2. What this is going to give me is, is the remainder when I divide by 4 by 2 that is 0 because 4 is completely divisible by 2, 2 twos are 4. Now in the case of my second variable, I am dividing 5 by 2, my remainder is 1. So completely divisible means I have remainder as 0. If it is not, it will have the value of 1. Now let us quickly run this piece of code along with the proc print to see our results. Here you can see this is completely divisible so it has 0. It, this is not divisible so we have 1 as a value. Now I would like to discuss one more function before going into the meat of our topic. The another function which we are going to talk today is seal function. Seal function when we apply on any value which has decimals it goes to the next number. For example, when we apply seal on 1.1, it becomes 2. If we apply on 2.8, it goes to 3. If we apply on just a whole number, then it is going to stay as it is. Now let us quickly run this and proc print it. Now you can see that whatever the numbers you have 1.1 has become 2 and 2.8 has become 3 3 has stayed itself now let us look into the strategy to find prime numbers this we are going to do with the help of two examples in here i have taken two numbers 14 and 11 and what we are going to do here or what I am going to show here is first we will be starting from 1 to 7. So if you are having a number 14, you are going to use half of the numbers and check whether it divides the number or not. Right. And here first I will check 1 divides by 14, 1 into 14 is 14. But I want you to remember one thing, 1 and itself we should not consider. So we will write condition in a such a way that 1 and the number itself is there, then we are not going to take into 
consideration. Then what we are going to do is we are going to move to the next number and divide it by 14. So if we divide 14 by 2, it is completely divisible by 2 and then we are going to get a remainder of 0. Which means this is a composite number and not a prime number and we are not going to check any further. Even though we have our strategy ready to start from 1 to 7 but it is already divisible, we are not going to check anymore. Now let us talk about another number 11. Again, what we are going to do here is we are again going to start from 1 to 6 and then we are going to see whether it is divisible by those numbers or not by checking whether we get a remainder of 0 or not. As again I said to you, 1 if it divides 11, we are not going to consideration whenever our starting number is 1 and it is uh, dividing it. Then we will go to 2 and then check whether it completely divides 11 or not. Here it does not. Then we go to 3, it does not divide. 4, it does not divide completely because the remainder is 3. Again 5, it is does not completely divide 11 and then we go to 6. There is no point going greater than num that number and checking whether it, is, it divides the particular number or not. So to sum it up, the idea is to check whether the number divides or gets divided by a sequence of numbers starting 1 to half of the numbers which we are trying to check. Here if it is 11 which is odd number we are going to go till 6 and check it. In this case it is not divisible by any other numbers that is by any other two small numbers. So we call this as prime number. So this would be our strategy. If it is already divisible we will call it composite and we will not check it to the midpoint. But if it is not divisible it is our job or it's the job of the program to check till the middle point. Now let us put this into our code. The strategy I have discussed, I'm exactly putting it into the code here. Here we are going to do this with the help of few examples in here. Now I'm going to check on the number 10. So if you see here, we are starting from 1 and going to the midpoint. So how this we are doing in our code? We are starting from 1 to see num by 2. That is, we are looping from 1 to the mid number. When our i is 1, it is exactly divides the 10 and gives the remainder 0. But I have said I should not be equal to 1. So what happens is it loops again and then when it loops again this i will become 2. Now you can see that our num is 10 and our i is 2. 10 divided by 2 gives the remainder of 0. So the type will have the value of composite and it will leave the loop. Now let us quickly run this code and see our results. In here, it clearly says that 10 is a composite number. So, actually we are creating an additional variable which we are calling as type and we are capturing whether it is a composite number or prime. In this case, it shows it as composite number. Now, let us try to understand with one more number. Now, let me have number 11 and then here, 1 to seal will become 1 to 6. Now what we are trying to do here is mod num i. When i is 1, 
it is completely divisible but as i said to you when i is not equal to 1 then only we want to make it composite so what happens in here is it will have the value of prime and then it will again check for 2 2 is also not divisible so the prime value stays it is going to check 3 4 5 and 6 none of them divide this 11 value and give remainder 0 so it stays with type as prime now let us quickly run this code and see our results in here you can see that 11 as prime now if you see our strategy the number generating wherein we have to generate numbers 1 to the midpoint number to the number which we are interested to divide with was done with the help of do loop and also to take to the midpoint we have used the logic of the function on num divided by 2 num is the number which we are interested in if you see in here this code is little bit longer we can make this code little bit shorter before going into the shorter piece of code i would like to say one another thing that is whenever we have a do loop wherein we start from a particular point that is in this case our start point is 1 and to a particular stop point in here our stop point is 6 this kind of loop is known as iterative or iterative do loop so what we can do simply is instead of this long code we can add to this iterative do loop that is here i have my iterative part of do loop what i am doing here is i am also writing a do until means till the condition becomes true please let the code run what this does is whatever reaches the first that is if want to seal gets first or this until condition becomes true this loop is going to stop so here instead of writing a leave statement what i have done is i have done an do until along with my iterative loop so that my code is little bit more simpler and little bit more cleaner now let us quickly run this code in here you can see that the type is composite for our num equal to 10 now let's also try and understand the code little bit better in here in here as i said to you this or this one of the condition has to satisfy whatever satisfies first it comes out of the loop here you can see that num equal to 10 and then it is divisible by 2 so this condition is true so once it loops till i is equal to 2 it comes out of the loop whereas if we take the number as 11 and we run the code again and here you see that it tells that the value is a prime number what i want you to focus on in here is here this do until condition is not true because it is never divisible by i when it is 1 2 3 4 or 5 or 6 but here the iterative part of the do loop comes into picture wherein it starts from 1 and once it reaches to 6 it stops the loop that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you